All right, let's start with part A. Uh, this is uh, a very technical uh, procedure, uh, the tabular uh, method. So, but it's a good shortcut or it's a good detour for the application of integration by parts. What we're gonna do here is that let me have uh, integrals where we have to apply the integration by parts more than once. Uh, this table works just awesome. Okay, so what in general we are doing in part A, let's say, we have a polynomial law minus x against an exponential involving term, e to the minus x plus 1. Uh, in Liate, remember that um, algebraic expressions uh, are called u if they are against exponentials. So I'm going to call u to be uh, 1 minus x here. Uh, and then remember that we have the alternating signs here. So we're going to start with positive and continue with negative, positive and negative. And obviously at some point we have to stop that that's ruled by u because start to start with, we have u to be 1 minus x. Whenever the derivative of u becomes 0, that's when we're going to stop. So here, one derivative is negative 1, and the second derivative is 0. So hopefully, we're going to stop here. And this uh, part here is somehow related to dv v prime dx. So we're going to look at the anti derivatives of the dv terms, OK? So essentially, this is going to be e to do uh, minus x uh, plus 1 e to the minus x uh, plus 1. So we're going to integrate this, okay? So minus e to the minus x plus x, and then one more time, e to the minus x plus x squared over 2. All right, since we stop right at that level when, when the derivative of u equals 0, so uh, let's start writing this out. So how we're going to write this is the following. So I have plus... Uh, let me use a different color, maybe. Uh, plus 1 minus x times this expression here. Okay. Plus 1 minus x. So 1, well, it's already the plus, times minus e to the minus x plus x. We need to follow uh, this in order. And then minus minus 1 times this. Okay. So that becomes uh, plus. That becomes uh, plus e to do minus x plus x squared over 2. Let me just clean this part so you can actually see uh, the full picture over there. Because um, the border of my circling, I was touching the function. Okay, So plus 1 minus x times minus e to do minus x plus x. And then the next term is going to be minus times minus 1 times e to the minus x plus x squared over 2. And I'm going to put an integrating constant here. And if you want, you can go ahead and uh, simplify this expression. So 1 minus x e to the minus x plus x minus x squared uh, plus e to the minus x plus x squared over 2 uh, plus c. And you can go ahead and simplify the like terms. So this should be like minus x squared over 2 plus x uh, plus uh, x e to do minus x plus c. I was just uh, cheating a little bit over there um, to simplify uh, this uh, expression. Let me see if I did it correct. I think I, I'm missing a minus sign here. I'm sorry. I am missing a minus sign here. Okay. And let me just write this a little bit more careful. Yep. So minus uh, 1 minus x e to the minus x, x minus x squared, and, and, and the rest. And some like terms are canceled out. Um, like for example, you have, uh, you have uh, minus 1 e to the minus x cancels, uh, uh, let's see, this term here. So this term cancels that one. And then you have x e to the minus x. Uh, x minus x squared, and you have another x squared over 2, so that's the final uh, result. This is the final result, okay? But as you see that, um, uh, you, you are sort of like detouring uh, of uh, calling u, dv along the way. So once you have this like nice uh, table, you can uh, write down the, the value of the integral in one shot, all right? Um, for part B, I have uh, uh, another video. Uh, so 
Uh, we have x cubed cosine 2 x dx over there. So I'm going to finish this video right now, but please continue to my next video. All right, bye.